Their target is the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. This activist video appears to show the aftermath of some of the attacks. The U.S. Central Command says that a mix of fighter jets, bombers, drone and Tomahawk missiles were used against 14 ISIL targets near Al-Raqqa, Deir al-Zor, Al-Hasaka and Al-Bukamal. ISIL controls large parts of Iraq and Syria. The U.S. has been bombing the group in Iraq over the last two weeks to help the Iraqi army and Kurdish forces. This is part of what President Barack Obama says is his strategy to defeat ISIL. The first part of it can be successful, which is inside of Iraq, the combination of airstrikes from the coalition and the ground efforts by the Iraqi troops to regain lost territory is certainly an objective that's attainable in the next few months. Uh, it becomes a little more problematic when we're talking about efforts inside of Syria. Uh, the U.S. aim is at this point to arm and equip the moderate Syrian rebel groups so they can not only destroy Daesh, but also uh, the Syrian government as well. Syria had said any operation within its territory should be coordinated with Damascus. And it appears the Syrian government knew about this attack and has maintained a high level of communication with the Iraqi government. Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Jordan, the UAE and Qatar were also involved in the attack. But it's not clear what role they played. Jordan, which has borders with Iraq and Syria, is nervous about the ISIL advancement. There has been several attempts to infiltrate uh, across our borders. We are uh, uh, striking the positions of ISIS because we think that uh, we should do whatever necessary in order to strengthen and enhance and solidify the stability and security of our borders and our country. The U.S. says there is a wide regional and western cooperation behind its strikes. It is not clear what the outcome of these strikes will be and whether if they will benefit President Assad or the Syrian opposition. But many people are uncertain that the aerial campaigns alone can defeat ISIL. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera.